guys, uh, today we're going to take a look at the AC Co. M1917 Trench Knife from World War I. I've uh, been trying to get my hands on one of these for a bit, finally did. So yeah, we're going to take a closer look and hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so here we have the LFNC M1917 and the AC Co. M1917-1918. Um, I did a full review and history behind the production of the 1917 uh, with the, this one. So if you're interested in that, go look the LF and C up, LF and C9, M1917 video up. I'm just going to do a brief kind of comparison between the two. Um, so the AC Co. version, uh, in late 1917 slash early 1918, they decided that they wanted to change the design a little bit. So AC Co. or American Cutlery Company... Instead of doing the pyramid kind of protrusions like LF and C did, they went with this slight variation in design. Let's get that sheath out of the way. Where they just bent these metal flanges out. So you can see that's the big difference between these two knives. Right there is that the way that handle. Uh, the knuckle protrusions are. Um, the other big difference is, as you can see on this one, the knuckle grooves are definitely more defined on the AC Co. than they are on the LFNC. Um, slight other variations as far as the guard kind of bends down a little bit. Um, on the LFNC, you had the maker stamp right there on the AC Co. Alright, so it says AC Co. USA 1917. Now, it is worth mentioning, on the majority of these knives, like I said, when they did the upgra upgrade slash changes, let's call them, uh, they did designate it the M1918. Not to be confused with the M1918 Mark I, the other uh, more badass-looking trench knives with the brass and bronze handles, but these are just the M1917 slash M1918. Most of the AC Co. ones are dated M1918, or just, I'm sorry, 1918, but there is, it's not uncommon to see, like, this one would have been early, an early production run for late 1917, since it is dated 1917. It's not uncommon, it's just, from, from what I understand, it's more common to see them dated 1918. Now, also, this did not come with an original World War One style sheath. Um, if you guys have seen them, they've got, like, a metal throat with the two little pieces of metal that hook up onto the pistol belt, and it's, like, cylindrical green leather with another little metal uh you know cap on the bottom uh they're hard to find they're expensive this one came with a world war ii era replacement now i know it's world war ii era because now this is kind of hard to make out but there is some information on the back here um like i said this is hard to make out a lot of it is worn down on this side but what we can make out is lt for lieutenant and Len, L-E-N-N, -N, right here. U.S., and I believe there was an A there at one point, so USA. And then his serial number, which I have had the, the hell of a time trying to make out. Um, I've tried a few different tricks, like doing the old paper and graphite, tracing it like Indiana Jones style. I think, I mean, we start off with an O, or a 013. Now, from my research and from what I understand, with the serial numbers in World War II that start with zero, that goes back to them being an officer. So that makes sense with him being a lieutenant. But what I can make out, or what I think, to me, that looks like a, a 0132. Cannot make out the middle one or two numbers. And then there's a nine. And then I believe a six, eight. Um, based on some of the tracings and stuff I've been able to do, real hard to make out, just like this. Um, so, 100, not 100% sure, I haven't been able to, I've been trying to look them up and having a hell of a time. If anyone can look it up and, and, uh, get it better than I can, by all means, please feel free. Lieutenant, L-E-N-N, -N, U.S., World War II era, definitely a 013 starting serial number. And then here you've got France carved into here. And this is where, again, the tracing helped me come out with it. July 1944. Can't really make it out. Maybe I'll grab uh, the trace real quick to see. 
And then um, down here, he's got Lieutenant Len, L-E-N-N, USA, and then a serial number carved in here again, which unfortunately the end is very hard to read. So what I make out is a 013 as well, and then the rest just kind of falls away. All right, so <clears throat> this is one of the tracings I did. Um, like I said, Lieutenant Len, US, I think A is right there. Zero, one, three, maybe a two, can't tell. Nine, six, eight is my best guess. It almost looks like a five, but I did. So I found a zero, one, three, two, five, nine, six, eight serial number. Name doesn't match at all. And any of the lens I did find from World War II service, none of their serial matches number. None of their serial numbers matched. So I don't really know. Kind of at a loss, which is really frustrating because I'm usually decent at finding something. But uh, and then here's where you can make out July one nine four four. So July nineteen forty four. Um, kind of hard to make out on the phone, but. Still thought it was pretty cool. Like I said, if anyone else can can find anything on this this dude, please by all means let me know. It would be super appreciative. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that's all I've got for you. I just want to do a quick compare and contrast between the M1917 by LFNC and the 1917 1918 by AC Co. Uh, if you want to know more about the development and the production of the M1917 in general, I'll put a little link to the video I did on this one a while ago. I just want to do a little compare contrast since I just got my hands on the uh, AC Co. And I'm very, I love this knife. I love the character to it. it. Just looks like it's been there and done that. Probably a two war knife since it was in a World War II sheath. And it's a World War One knife, so just I wish these things could talk and tell you where it's been. But um, all that stuff aside, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you guys have as far as your collection goes. Uh, I like talking to y'all, so just uh, do all that stuff and uh, be good. And hope to see you next time.